And now on to our deep dive on Thunderdome. Take it away, Tommy. Thanks very much. So yeah, we called the project Thunderdome um, after the 1985 film. Uh, I won't t talk too much about the film. Uh, I just have to say that the shoulder pads are probably an example of why you shouldn't uh, project current growth rates too far into the future. Um, so we're currently targeting the uh, IPFS uh, gateway use case. Uh, so we do this by spinning up uh, so-called targets and uh, firing traffic at them and make sure it's exactly the same traffic. Um, we gather as much information as we can when we do that. So we get metrics uh, via Prometheus. The newly enabled uh, tracing in uh, Kubo, we scrape all that up if it's there. We grab logs and it, we all, we're pushing everything to uh, hosted infra so we don't have to do any work to uh, keep up with the number of experiments. I've said no limit to how many experiments we have, a couple of lines of config to to uh, define them. Uh, next slide, please. Oh, I should say it's me and Ian in the uh, production engineering team that have uh, been working on this in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, we the first thing we did was make a tool called uh, Deal Good, named after uh, a character in the film who organizes fights. Uh, uh, I tried to resist talking about the film, but yeah, they make people fight in a hemisphere in the middle of the desert in a uh, post-apocalyptic future. So uh, make of that what you will. So yeah, multiple targets, same load, like I said. You can, we've, we can run it headless uh, or in it with a terminal UI. Uh, so it's useful for local dev, dev actually. It's also got tracing enabled. We do tracing propagation. So you can say uh, this request and then trace it all the way through from the point of view of the client as instrumented as the Go uh, HTTP lib is. We we trace all that and then we can correlate it with Kubo's tracing, also exports Prometheus metrics and we can play back production load uh, from a, a log stream that we take uh, from the production uh, gateways, which is minimally service impacting because it's just another uh, Nginx log file that's being written or from a randomly canned, uh, randomly from a canned list of URIs. Uh, and there's the terminal UI there. It looks delightful as it as it moves. Uh, Ian's got an ASCII uh, cinema uh, demo that he published a week or two ago. Yeah, so that's what it looks like to define an experiment. At the moment, we're limited to give us a couple of, uh, or not couple, give us uh, N uh, Docker images and whatever environment variables you want to set with them, and we'll run the experiment for you. And we automatically, on the left there is all of the tracing stuff. That's not any work we've done. That's just what Grafana Tempo looks like. And that's all the default tracing in, in Go IPFS that's there now. There's a, I think there's a big seam of work in, in Kubo to, to instrument more and more things and become more and more useful. One of our first experiments is actually measuring how uh, much enabling the tracing, you know, what fraction of tracing you enable, uh, how much does that impact performance. Uh, on the right there is a still from the demo video I'm about to play. Uh, and you can see the dashboard is automatically generated. So dashboards for free. And then you've got a one minute, 45 second video to play. Yes, that should start building things. Makes a uh, ECS service for each of the backends, the targets rather, and um, deal good. So we should start seeing stuff appear here. And yeah, there we do. Peer and peer and demo deal good. Peer and demo peer and demo without. Peer and demo demo with. Um, so we should be able to go to our automated dashboard. We go to peer in demo. Uh, it might be a little while. It takes a minute or two for the uh, containers to start, as you can imagine, using uh, Fargate at the moment. So it's got a like a sign-in network interface in the VPC and that kind of stuff. But very soon, we should start seeing some things. Yeah, so there's a little bit coming through there. That's the web is reported. And um, that should refresh every five seconds. I'll full screen this now because there's nothing else to see really. Starting to get some data through already. Uh, times the first byte is kind of the most critical uh, metric in terms of the user perception of the service and stuff. So we kind of centered that in this default dashboard. So we're saying that with is about twice as fast. So when you're peering, it's about twice as fast in the initial startup here zero to experiment in end time units. Um, we'll develop this dashboard further with a, a whole bunch of default metrics and stuff. My wife was saying that she wishes she could uh, fast forward me and mute me in real life. Um, 
Uh, so yeah, we've already got on the backlog uh, a bunch of experiments. We want your experiments though. So like, what's interesting to you? What would you? What battles would you like to create? So yeah, send send us your suggestions. Uh, we want to get as many experiments going. The thing's only as useful as uh, the experiments we run. Uh, Mario's asked the question, where does it get the traffic from? It's replaying uh, a trace log. Uh, you approved the PR a little while ago, mate. So various levels of soon, coming soon, more uh, production uh, like, so at the moment we're saying that Docker image plus uh, environment variables constitutes a, a different target. But of course, other things affect how well the infrastructure runs, what kind of disks are you giving them, what file system you're choosing, are you raiding it? We want, we want to finesse the UX so it's an absolute delight. We want to automatically, if you've got a performance enhancing branch, just track it, just keep deploying the branch, test for regressions, etc. RCs automatically should be tested. I shouldn't read the comments. Mario's making me laugh. Uh, continuous uh, Kubo JSI PFS IRA shootout. Uh, bring your own hardware. So like if you don't like our uh, hardware options, run it yourself. Point it at something you're interested in. Run our sidecars, get graphs automatically. And then one thing I'm a bit mega, mega excited about is the idea of like infrastructure experiments. So which load balancing strategies should we adopt? How, you know, what kind of machine sizes might we use? Can we compare this infra infrastructure provider with this other one? What if we use a shared block store? What if all the nodes in a region had a peer store in Redis? Things like things above the level of individual instances of, of, of our software that do impact the, uh, the, the performance of it. Uh, because Kubo and 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 the, you know anything implementing the IPFS gateway spec actually uh, are deliberately designed to interact well with uh, load balancers, caches, that kind of thing. So we want to be able to like test them as well because that that is the the aggregate of all those things is our uh, performance. Uh, so that's it. That's all for me. Thanks for your indulgence. Uh, that was a pleasure. Awesome. And everyone have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. <laughs>